Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the installation of a 2900 motherboard. So first things first, we'll take your new motherboard. You got it right here. And what you're going to want to do is kind of, you'll notice we have all these little latches that the motherboard goes onto. First thing you do is kind of lower it in. I like to do it kind of from the left hand side just because these little black pieces make it a little bit hard to get it in straight down. And get all of the power cords and cables out of the way so that they aren't stuck under the motherboard tray. And then you should notice it should kind of lock somewhat and then you just push forward and you'll hear that click and everything should be on. Um, just want to make sure all your I.O. ports are actually lined up properly. When it gets to this point, you pretty much know what's in there. Next, you're going to reapply the uh, cables onto the motherboard. So we'll grab these. They should be extremely obvious as to which ones they go to, since there's really not any other size to go with them. So there's only really one size for each cable. Alright. Next, we're going to... I find it easiest to install these parts first. You can do it any order you want. Um, I would install the processor and RAM next. So I've already cleaned my processors, but um, if you haven't yet, what you'll want to do is make sure you get the tops of the processor and the bottom of the heatsink completely clean of all the previous thermal paste. All right, we'll get both the procs in. And now, just to verify that you know you're putting it in the right direction, You'll notice that there are two little indents on the top of the processor. You'll also notice on the socket itself, you can see a little indent which kind of lines up with it. So you just line it up, it should drop into place, and lower and secure it. Next, we're going to apply the thermal paste. Usually, well, some people tend to kind of overdo it. You really only need about the size in between a BB and a P, so something like that. Do it on both. Some people like to spread it. Um, you really don't have to because the pressure of the heat sink itself will spread it for you. So there's really no need to spread it. So put on the heat sink, push down, and secure the two blue tabs. Same on the next processor. Next, I'm going to reinstall the RAM. If you had full, a full-on bank, obviously you just you know, install it all the, way to, all the way across. However, if you didn't have all your RAM slots filled, you'll want to make sure you do it in the proper order. So with the way I had it, we were short four sticks from a full set. So if you don't know the proper way to go about it, first you fill up the white ones. That's your first channel. We'll be able to tell, obviously, white and black. Yep. Anyways, and then you go with the next slot directly next to the white one. So you'll have two space open, two, oops. And just like that. Next, we're going to reinstall the cage over the PCI slots. So what you're going to do is, you'll notice there is this little guiding post and that little guiding right there. Then there's these right here. What you do is you just kind of line them up so that it gets secured in. You should drop down and then push backwards. And you should hear two securing clips right there and right there. And it should just be secure on there. Next we're going to reinstall the RAID card. So again, uh, you're going to put it inside of these little guiding posts. And get lined up and just push directly down until it secures into the PCI slot. Route around your battery cable again. Plug in the battery and secure it back into its little holster. Next, we're pretty much all done. We're gonna reinstall all the fan assemblies. You get the rear one. Um, you'll notice this little piece of black plastic lines up into there. And these little black pieces of plastic line up with this piece of metal going down in between it. Fall in and secure. 
again. Two little black pieces of plastic. Go into the side posts. Lower ones here. Then again, a little black piece of plastic lines up into there. And on this side, actually, you'll notice there's two then pieces right here. These then go in between these right here. You should see both these blue tabs secure, and you should be all set. Now lastly, we'll just reattach our cables for the front, the DVD drive. It is possible that your DVD drive may be an IDE, in which case you will not have this SATA cable. Ours is set up this way, so we're going to show it that way. And lastly, reapply your back plane to the RAID controller. Controller zero, you'll notice normally there's little marks on it. Um, controller zero would be the white slot on the RAID card, and then the uh, channel two will be uh, the black one. The other way to tell also is normally the cable will be a little bit longer for the uh, channel one. So now that you've got that, you should be all set to re-secure the case, plug it all in, and it should be all set to go. Anyways, hope this is helpful, and that's it.